Hi, I'm Rick Hayes with Hayes Aero. I'm also an Aerolite 103 dealer. We're going to go through the construction of an Aerolite 103 quick build kit. We get a few calls now and then from customers building planes asking different questions and we hope by watching this video we can answer those questions for you. Okay, we're going to start with the assembly of the vertical stabilizer skin onto the vertical stabilizer frame. We start by inserting the wooden dowels into the sleeves that's inside the bottom of the skin of the vertical stabilizer. There's two dowels, one on each side. Now what we need to do is we need to burn a hole with a soldering iron through the sleeve to attach some zip ties onto which will wrap around the framework of the vertical stabilizer. And to do this I have a pointed soldering iron that I use for cutting holes into the fabric. We come in all oh, three quarters of an inch or so from the end of the dowel. We can go through both sides. That'll give us a hole for the zip tie. Now on the opposite side, we want to do the same thing, but we want to offset it from that hole. So the zip ties will go around the framework without running into each other. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite end. Again, offset this one from the other side a little bit. And we're all set. The framework for the vertical stabilizer is pre-assembled from the factory, so it's ready to put skins on right away. You pull that on tight. like that. Once the skin slid over the framework, make sure that your Velcro strip where the rudder attaches is down the center line of your rear tube. Then we insert the uh, wire ties, the zip ties, around the bottom tube. Through the hole that you burn into the sleeve and around the dowel and around the bottom tube. And tighten it down. Same thing on the upper tube here, the upper sleeve. You come through around the bottom tube. And there's why we have the little offset so the wire ties don't run into each other. We do the same thing on the opposite end. through the sleeve and down. Back around. 
Now, once we're sure that we have the Velcro right down to the center of the back tube, we can start snugging up the zip ties, pulling them dowels and the skin down tighter towards the bottom of the frame. Sort of snugged up. The 3 16 hole just off the bottom of the vertical stabilizer that we're going to want to burn a hole through this strap on the belt or on the uh, skin to hold the skin in place. So, a good way to get a hold of that is if you get on there with some vice grips. Kind of rock that around. You see, as you're rocking that around, pulling this, pulling that skin down pretty tight. Might be easier if you had some help doing this. There's this 3 16 hole. We're going to burn a hole right through that strap, and we have it pulled tight. Then through that hole we're going to take a 3 16 rivet and a thick washer and line that hole back up again. Same thing on the opposite end. After you get the rivet in place, we're going to cut this strap off all about three eighths of an inch below the rivet. Good way to do that and seal the ends is with the soldering iron. Then again, we're going to do the same thing on the opposite end. Snugged up. And we can snip them off. Spin them ends of the zip ties down in so they won't poke through the fabric. Once that's done, we can pull that zip to the velcro tight. There you have it, your first covered piece. <laughs> 